Hello, welcome to a brand new series which I'm narrating called Sir Freddy Fazbear and Friends Origins. This is going to be a pretty lore based um, series on this channel, and I'm going to be the, basically the one telling the story. Uh, this is basically just the story of my life and how it went. So yeah, if you want to see more of this series, then please like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Let's hope that we get to one uh, th that we get to one point one k subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. Actually, I think we can surpass that. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's get into the story. So, what is the beginning? Let's go all the way back to the very beginning of my, well where my life got interesting. So I used to perform on stage with Fredbear. Me, I was called Spring and Bonnie, he was Fredbear. We were both yellow, we were basically Freddy and Bonnie, but yellow, and, but well, name change. And we were before Freddy and Friends. We were just dancing, happy, singing. However, we started to malfunction. So they throw us into the back alley and deemed us useless. Because that's how life goes, kids. And anyways, this is where our actual story begins. <laughs> Oh, God. I began twitching. That's why they threw me out, because I was scaring kids. <laughs> oh, you'll regret this. We both rotted in this back alley. This is how I became from the yellow rabbit to this. I got wires coming out of me. I changed from um, yellow to green. I got rips. I got my hands and feet exposed with my endoskeleton. It wasn't a fun time. And my ear. They even took off a bit of my ear to put in the take apart and put back together. Build your own animatronic attraction. They don't even realize that animatronics have their own feel. Okay, I don't think you should be suing anyone right now. Okay. And Fredbear, he wrote, he wrote quite a bit. He went um from yellow to like greenish. And he looked like a Frankenstein, so we nicknamed him Dreadbear. We were going to call him Frank and Freddy, but that didn't sound right. Yeah, it's a sick help wanted reference. Stop breaking the fourth one. Okay, uh, anyway, what was that voice? Uh, anyways, so, yeah, um, that's basically what happened. We also had a friend who ran a different restaurant called El Chip. He ran a restaurant called El Chip's Mexican-style buffet, and he was a big friend of us. He was in a different corporation, but apparently he was also thrown back and deemed useless. So he came to join us. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what happened to you? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I became ugly, so they threw me away. Oh, there, it's not that. It's not that deep. You're just a robot. Come on, it's not that deep. I know, but look at me. Look how horrendous I look. Why does it look like I have goggles on? Uh, you don't look that ugly once you get used to it. Oh. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, welcome to the parts and service back alley. People came in and saw us to see whether they could use us for parts or stuff, and they immediately took action with Fredbear, or as I called him, Dreadbear. They thought he could be good in a, in a giant, like, spooky attraction, so they took him. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Fredbear. I mean, Dreadbear. I was put in a haunted mansion attraction called Dreadbear's Haunted Mansion. They were going to call it The Rise of Frank and Freddy, but they didn't like that. Again, another sick help wanted reference. Basically, what would happen is he'd be really dark because of how dark the room would be, and then wham! The lights would go on and scare people, and they'd be red most of the time. So yeah, that's basically what happened. A few months had passed, and my life was just completely boring. Now with my old buddy gone, <sighs> what should I do? They had also seen some usefulness in El Chip, and they took him away to go back to the restaurant. They just had to clean him up a bit because he looked a bit ugly. Come on. Okay, hola. Um, uh, adios, amigo. Okay, bye. He was put back in his Mexican-style buffet restaurant as per normal, and he was cleaned up a bit to be less ugly. Hola, amigos. Welcome back to El Chip's Mexican-style buffet. Sorry I was away for a long time, but I'm back now. Don't worry. Ha. <laughs> Leaving me to rot in backstage for months and months and months. Soon the five month mark had passed since we last seen my friends. I was getting so bored. I decided to go see Fredbear. Hey, Dreadbear. Oh, hey, how's it going? He said. Yeah, it's actually going pretty good, to be honest, I said. Um, well, I lied, I mean. It's not really going that well. So yeah, it's not really going that well. Um, I've been 
doing really bad. It's been so boring. What do you think I should do? I think you should try escape, to be honest. Wait. Would you? How how's, how do you like this place? To be honest, I don't really like it. All I do is I just stand here. I don't even say boo. I mean, what kind of haunted attraction has their main attraction not even say boo or anything? I literally just get paid minimum wage to stand here for eight hours, not moving, in the dark. And then lights flicker and that. It's just so boring. I'll say, would you like to help me escape? Do you want to have... Let's both escape together. Maybe l Chip will even join. Because, you know... He doesn't really like the food business after being in a while. Uh, sure, we can go see. We'll go see if El Chip wants to. Okay, then we can... I don't know what we'll do. We'll just travel till we find some place. That was settled. I went to El Chip's. Hello, El Chip. Oh, hola! Hola, mi amigo. It's been a while. Yeah, um, do you want to um, come escape with me and Dreadbear? We're both um, escaping to... I don't know where we're escaping, to be honest. Well, sounds very good. I'll join. So it was settled. We all set off to wherever life would take us. And honestly, I was really happy for this. And I really, um, well, if I'd known how rough the journey would have been, I wouldn't have gone. But, well, in fact, you'll have to wait till part two of this series to see how the journey went. Um, so yeah. Okay, all seriousness, guys. I'm trying to go back to my old style videos. This is kind of like an old style video. So yeah, that's um, what we're trying to do. So if you like this series, please subscribe and bye.